Alrighty, boys, welcome to a brand new video. So, Esports Boxing Club just released a new video today. This is titled ESBC Development Update New Gameplay. So, this is about uh, seven minutes long. Apparently, there is quite a lot of new gameplay, a lot of improvements. A lot of new details that we're going to take a look at. It's been a while since we really got anything in regards to this game. So really excited to see what they're working with so far. And uh, without wasting any additional time, let's go right ahead and check this out. Here we go. Hey, Fight fans. This is Will Kinsler from the team at Steel City Interactive. You might recognize me as Rackzilla if you're on our Discord server. I'm the Director of Global Communications at SCI, and I'm here to show you what we've been up to lately with ESBC development. Today we're going to talk about camera angles, improvement to punches, inside fighting, and more. Let's jump into it. That's right, we're opening up with this modern classic matchup between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, who you're seeing in the ring together in ESBC for the very first time. Here you can see we've got a variety of camera angles in the works. There we go. There's a wide angle view that shows all the action for those of you who want to see as much as possible. Okay. There's a close up view that really highlights those toe to toe moments and beautiful game visuals. We've even got a cinematic camera <laughs> that gives you a number of perspectives to view what's happening inside the ring. We'll continue to experiment and add more cameras to offer a variety of ways to view gameplay. Oh man, there's so much going on right now. When it comes to authentic boxing, another area we want to give attention to is fighting on the inside. As boxing fans, we appreciate those moments where fighters are right on top of each other, looking for that opportunity to throw a shot. This right here is absolutely incredible. You know, this is something that we've been talking about for quite some time right now. Um, a lot of issues that, well, something that no other, I'll put it this way, no other game has really approach this in, in in this way with fight night champion the ufc games there's always like an invisible wall between two between the two fighters that prevents them from actually like running into each other but this is something that you see happen in boxing all the time it's something you see happen in mma all the time um fighters they collide into each other you know whether it's when they're throwing a wild shot or one of them whiffs or one of them ducks a lot of times they run into each other whether it's head to head shoulder to shoulder chest to chest it happens all the time and in boxing a lot of times they will stay like chest to chest really really toe to toe really close contact working on the inside Meanwhile, in other games, even when you're going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, there's still that invisible wall between you, between you and your opponent that prevents you two from actually touching. So the fact that they're doing away with that invisible wall, letting the two characters actually uh, meet each other touch as they're fighting on the inside that is pretty revolutionary i don't think any other boxing game has really done that or any other combat game really has done that so i mean this is this is really really good i'm very glad just look at the that right time beautiful it's still a work in progress wow. but here's a glimpse of our first pass at fighting on the inside oh this is amazing bro you can see how the fighter shift stances as they get into close range combat with our physics system coming into play Short hooks and uppercuts might land, or they could glance off an opponent, depending on your position. Oh man, I'm very curious to see. And now we've got a fighter we've never shown before in ESBC. I'm really excited to announce whoa, whoa, joining... Whoa, 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 hold on a second, Will. Get out of here. If it's a fighter announcement, I'm in charge, ladies and gentlemen, of making that announcement. Introducing to you, for the first time ever, with Esports Boxing Club... From the Steel City himself, the home of Steel City Interactive. He is the former welterweight champion of the world. Welcome, Kel Brook! Kel Brook. And there's the bell for round two. Well, we've just How about this fantasy matchup between the Cobra and Sweet Hands? We're showing Carl mm. Frosch and Caleb Plant in ESBC for the first time as we talk through this next section. Critical zones. Fighters will tell you that where a shot lands can make a big difference, and the same is true nice. in ESBC. There are impact areas on an opponent's face, so a glancing blow will have a reduced chance to cause serious damage where that big shot to the temple might just be enough to bring the fight to a close. Okay, so they're 
doing something very similar to vulnerability, right? Whereas in the UFC series, uh, UFC 4 and 3 specifically, vulnerability is like how vulnerable are you when you're performing a specific action? So how vulnerable are you when you're throwing versus how vulnerable you are when you're moving your head? How vulnerable you are when you're just moving? How vulnerable you are when you're lunging? And then different strikes have different vulnerability and the vulnerability spikes depending on where, uh, where you get hit. So this seems like it's something very similar in the sense that where you get hit in the face actually matters, right? Like in boxing, a lot of times you actually see very high level boxers. Of course, they, they keep the, they, they tuck the chin and the only part of their face that typically gets exposed uh, is the forehead. And that's because, of course, the forehead is one of the hardest parts of the of the head that uh, you can hit. You can actually break your hand hitting your opponent in the forehead. And this part of the head can actually withstand quite a lot of damage. Unless you're Deontay Wilder, then you can you can smash Tyson Fury in the forehead and sit him down. But just uh, definitely, um, you're able to withstand more shots if they're hitting you in the forehead versus, of course, the chin or the temple, you know, um, or behind the ear, for example. Like these shots, temple behind the ear, all these areas. Of course, when you get hit there, it can fuck up your balance completely. Fighters get knocked down with very tiny, short. Uh, shots when they get hit there so it's going to be very interesting to see how that works are we going to have fine control in regards to where those punches land is it going to be more about physics is it going to be about fighter stats maybe your accuracy stat maybe the more accurate you are the more the shots find the chin and those more vulnerable areas of the head and if you're less accurate you're hitting forehead and uh, less vulnerable parts of the head so very curious to see what's going to govern um, this aspect of the game. If you want to have a great boxing game, the punches have to both look and feel right. Damn that's something right. we believe, and that's something we hear often from you as well. That's why we'll work on and polish punches until we're satisfied they meet our standards. Yes, sir. Thank you. In Thank the previous you. update, we showed off our 36 Thank punch you. controls. After consultation with world champion boxers and improvement to our punch mechanics, we now have more than 60 individual punches. We've put significant oh, effort power straight. into additional capture to help get us there, and this will continue to be an area of focus of development. Power punches are now available for every single punch type. Power jabs, straights, hooks, and uppercuts. It's all there. Jab, jab, Wanna power throw jab. That power jab to slow an advancing opponent? Beautiful. Now you can. Okay. Maybe you'd like to set up a trap to land that big. I punch. love that combination. So. One th one thing I'm also noticing is that because this is a boxing game, it seems like the the punches are going to be a bit more free flowing. Because you notice he goes light jab, power jab, then he goes light cross, power cross, and it f it flows really well. There's not like a lot of um, pauses in between, so it seems like fighters in the game are going to have the ability to to mix and combine a bunch of different combinations where same side punches will flow just as well as alternating punches. So jab straight as opposed to straight straight or like left left, like hook hook on the same side or jab jab. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that, you know, throwing uppercut uppercut with the same arm or um, uppercut left hook, same arm. It's going to be very interesting to start like mixing these combinations together. Right hand to end the fight. It's up to you when to put a little something extra on your punches. Just make sure you don't get carried away so you still have some energy in those championship <gasps> Oh my god, hold on, look We've at the small detail right there. Set up a trap. You'll notice he's not breathing out of his mouth, but then the moment he starts to gas, he, if he the fighter opens his mouth, oh, look at this. right hand to end the fight. It's up to you when to put a little something extra on your punches. Just make sure you don't get carried away so you look still have some energy in those championship Oh, rounds. good. We've nice. talked a lot about the process of scanning fighters and how that helps us create lifelike visuals. Beautiful. And that's true. But we don't only rely on scans. Our team has worked out the finer details when it comes to visual fidelity. You can see individual muscles flexing when punches are thrown. There's real-time body and facial deformation when impactful punches land. We believe these are difference makers when it comes to creating an immersive boxing experience, and it's important to us to take the time to touch on these areas. Now it's time to hop in and answer a few of your questions about ESBC. Josh asks, how does the judging system work? 
Well, Josh, we're not ready for a deep dive on judging today, but I can tell you that there will be a variety of outcomes at the end of fights. There are multiple judges. They may not see a fight the same way. Okay. So you'll have to be thoughtful about your game plan so you don't end up in a draw or on the wrong end of one of those majority decisions. More on that in the future. Shy760 asks, will we be able to change the button layout? So I hope the so. The controls we showed in the last dev walkthrough are our current default, and we are pretty happy with them. But we're actively testing alternate control options. We aren't 100% locked in on anything, okay. and we'll continue to test options and read feedback when it comes to what you're saying about controls. Okay. Agalos P has a question about DLC. Well, <laughs> Agalos, it's not time yet to talk about DLC plans. However, we do want to touch on the roster and some of the speculation we've seen. We've signed a lot of fighters and have made several roster announcements over the last year, and have even signed fighters we've yet to reveal. Some of you have been following our announcements and have said things like, there's no way all these fighters will be in ESBC when it drops. <laughs> and if you've shared a comment like that, you're correct. There will be boxers who are included in the game at launch, and some who will be a part of our DLC rollout over time. Ah, Most okay. boxers who aren't in at launch will be paid DLC. Mm. But there will also be some free DLC to look forward to. Okay. So, what can we tell you right now Pay about the ESBC DLC. release roster? As we've said, we're working toward the largest roster of licensed fighters ever in a boxing game. In order to totally lock down our roster, we have to get fighter scans into our development pipeline and approved, working around boxers' busy schedules to do so. All of this, of course, has been challenging during the ever-changing COVID landscape. That means today, we don't have a finalized list of boxers who will make the released roster. Now, we know a top priority for many of you is making sure some of the best fighters in the sport are in ESBC on day one when you purchase the game. Damn right. So you'll see Canelo, Ali, Canelo. Fury, Wilder, Terrence Crawford, Joe Frazier, Roy Jones, Lomachenko, Clarissa Shields, Katie Taylor, and more the very Bro. first time you play. And we'll continue to share more of our finalized roster as we get closer and lock in those names. But we want to make sure you understand our philosophy around the roster and where we're at. Kudos. Right Kudos. Before we go, we want to thank you for your continued support and belief in us as we work to bring boxing back to gaming where it belongs, as well as for your patience so we can make sure we deliver the most authentic experience possible. Make sure you head over to Steam and add ESBC to your wish list. There's a link down there below. Beautiful. All right, so I, I will right off the bat say um, the gameplay that they showed, um, significant improvements from the first few gameplays that we saw. Um, a lot of things were updated. One, a lot of those those punches definitely don't seem like arm punches anymore. Some of them still do, but a lot of them seem very improved, which tells you that not only are they like listening to the community, they're also aware of um, where the game needs needs work, and they're doing a very good job of delivering with that. I like the fact that they said every single punch in the game will have a power option. So a power jab versus a regular jab, there's going to be the power cross versus a regular cross. And then um, that goes with every other punch in the game as well. I love the fact that we're getting multiple camera angles. They showed, I believe, three different camera angles, one of them being a cinematic camera where the camera switches. Um, that's going to be a very good camera angle if, if, if you want to watch like AI versus AI, for example. It's going to give you a very good cinematic view, allows you to just relax and enjoy watching the fight so that's very good but i also like most importantly i like the fact that they're paying attention to the competitive players the players that don't want the camera to become a distraction that is a very big thing it's a very very important thing when you're playing competitively the last thing you want to do is fight the camera you want to be able to focus on the boxer that you're using you want to be able to focus on the fight you don't want your boxer to be hidden in any way shape or form you don't want there to be a situation where all of a sudden now I'm looking at my fighter's back as opposed to looking at my fighter from the from the view that gives me um, the best ability to control them. You know, there, there's ne there should never be a time where all of a sudden, shit, I'm looking at my fighter's back, like especially in crucial moments. So the fact that they're paying very close attention to that, giving us a wide camera that's going to pan out, give you a full view of the fighter, doesn't 
circle all the, all the way, stays fairly static, allows you to see exactly what's going on. I really, really, uh, really appreciate that. And I would say, like, if they need help seeing more what that is like, Fight Night Champion has a very has multiple camera angles, and um, they can go take a look at the way Fight Night Champion did that. I think they did that very, very well. Um, what else? I love the fact that we're getting some very high profile fighters on release date. They talked about Canelo Alvarez, Muhammad Ali, Lomachenko, Roy Jones Jr., just to name a few. Um, Clarissa Shields. Very, very um, encouraging. You, you, we're going to have some some superstars, some stars to play with the moment the game, the moment the game drops. Um, one more thing that I noticed while I was watching some of this gameplay, of course, is this right here. We talked about this very briefly. The fact that they're adding um, inside fighting, gameplay. but they're not doing inside fighting in a lazy way. They're not just going, oh, you two can come close to each other and then wail on each other. They're actually eliminating that wall that typically separates two fighters from actually colliding into each other. And what I'm going to start looking for looking forward to seeing is how organic is it going to be like how organic is outside fighting going to blend in with inside fighting are we going to be able to throw like a looping hook our opponent ducks it and boom we crash into each other and then once we crash into each other we can stay chest to chest we can stay glove to glove we can stay shoulder to shoulder multiple different ways that boxers typically do and then keep fighting in there and then from inside fighting how do you disengage? Is there clinching? That is another thing. Can we go from inside fighting right here where we're glove to glove to clinching? Like, you know, if one person starts to get overwhelmed while on the inside, can he disengage or clinch up, tie up with the opponent and uh, slow him down a little bit? Very curious to see how all that plays out. It is going to be a lot of work, man. And because, uh, again, this, this these these things have never been done. These these boys, they'll, they'll be introducing this the first time and it, it will be really up to them to flesh it out and make sure that um it's set up in a way that of course i mean people will always look for ways to break it so that's going to be a huge challenge uh to overcome next up is when we're looking at the hud right here i'm seeing stamina then i'm seeing um bpm bpm i'm thinking this is like your heart rate um, and uh, we're going to look at this in depth in a different video. I'm going to go back and I'm going to watch this again. And I'm going to try to see if I can deduce exactly what is going on from looking at the gameplay. I'm not going to do it right now. But this is a very solid idea. It is an idea that we've been trying to bring to EA. We've been trying to get them to add a heart rate system uh, in, in terms of stamina. Simply... Uh, short-term stamina, long-term stamina, it doesn't really represent what happens in a fight. There's a, there's the fact that fighters' heart rates increase, and depending on what your heart rate is, it's, it could affect your, your stamina, long-term and short-term. So seeing that they're doing that is very encouraging. And then, of course, on the sides right here, we see there's a, each side, there's left, middle, and right. Same thing with your body, left, center, and right. And that is with your fighter uh, fighter model. So it's going to be very interesting to see how everything plays out here. Overall, man, I, I would say I really, really love what I'm seeing. I love the character models. I love how realistic they look. Um, of course, the lighting in the ring has always been a very interesting and unique thing with Esports Boxing Club. The way they light up the ring, it's very unique. There's a, a movie has a movie feel to it that I, I really appreciate. I really like that. It's different. It's, it's, it's very different from what we see um, regularly. So overall, solid work. I really, really like what I'm seeing what I'm seeing here. I would say some of the punches, you know, in terms of animation, still needs a little bit more tweaking. But at this point, like I was really worried about it at first, you know, because I was complaining about it, and a, and a bunch of people were like, "It's fine, it's fine, it's fine," and it was kind of it was kind of bugging me. But now I'm not worried about it because the people that are making the game themselves, they know it needs work. They've said themselves, "We're gonna keep tweaking it. 
we're not comfortable with where it's at. We're, we're not we're not looking at where we're at in terms of punch animations, and we're not saying, "Oh, this is perfectly fine. This is okay." They know they need to keep tweaking it, and we're seeing with every new gameplay update they put out, it looks better and better. The punches look like they have more power. The fighters are um, there's more twerk, uh, not not twerk. <laughs> You know what I mean? Hit rotation, shoulder rotation on those punches. It's not a, a vast majority of them don't look like arm punches anymore. A lot of them look like an actual fighter, an actual boxer with weight on them throwing these shots. So lots of improvement. I'm really looking forward to seeing more. And hopefully soon, man, we can get an idea, some idea for when this game is going to drop. I'm personally hoping that it's going to be this year. But again, with the way the development is going, it's it's kind of looking like this, this this game might take a while. It's looking like, you know, we might not see it this year, maybe next year. I don't know. But whatever they're doing, just keep it up. Really, really appreciate the hard work. So to all, all the developers, to everybody at um, Steel City Interactive, just major props. Really appreciate how how hard you guys are working i appreciate the the mentality you guys have where you're looking at criticism you're looking at um these some of these videos and you're not taking it to heart to heart you're not like you're looking at it for what it for what it is you guys are artists you're developers you're fans of the sport and you're looking at it critically you're looking at it logically and you're seeing where improvement needs to be made and you're doing it so really 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 appreciate that thank you so much we are going to support the fuck out of your game once it drops i swear to god we are so just keep doing what you're doing but that's it thank you so much for watching folks if you guys enjoyed the video go right ahead and leave a like if you have not followed esports boxing club check out their youtube channel in the description below i will leave a link to this video go right ahead watch it leave a like subscribe to the channel and um, I will see you guys later. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one, boys.